You booked a professional headshot, and suddenly you hate everything in your closet. Before you pull out the credit card and go shopping for new outfits, watch this video for some basic guidance on what to wear for your session. Thanks for stopping by. For the best headshot tips and tricks, please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. You booked your session, and you've watched my last video on how to prepare before worrying about your wardrobe. But now it's time to pick out some clothes. This video will cover the basics, what to wear, what to avoid, and even when to break the rules if you want to live dangerously. I'm Scott Lawrence, a professional headshot photographer based here in Detroit, and I've worked with hundreds of professionals just like you. Check out my work at scottlawrencephoto.com. And now, on to the good stuff. If you watched my last video, you'll remember the great headshot is really about keeping it simple. Distractions, whether in the background or in your clothing, are only going to work against you. So unless you're a model actually selling the clothes that you're going to be wearing, wardrobe isn't as critical as you might think. So how do you actually keep it simple? You do need to wear something, though. Otherwise, we're talking about a different genre of photography. You can't go wrong with solids. Stripes or heavy patterns tend to get amplified on camera, so I usually recommend against them. Neutral colors are, of course, great, and they're never going to clash with any of your branding colors or any other graphics that might be around your image on your website, for example. If you're doing multiple looks in your session, you might even want to bring a strong, bold color, too. That's going to give you an image that'll really pop. And one more point on colors. If you're wearing a strong color, let's say like a bright pink or something, it might actually reflect some of the light back on your cheeks or neck or something like that, which is no good. It's hard to tell if that's going to happen until we get in the studio. So when in doubt, I'd say bring a backup just in case. That's not to say I don't recommend wearing these. I just say bring some options just in case. Fit is key. Fit is super important, even for headshots. Anything too big in the neck or shoulders is a no-go. Guys, if you're wearing a tie, your shirt should be a fitted dress shirt. That's one with an actual neck size. And on neckties, if you never wear a tie, I would argue that you probably don't need one in your professional headshot. Nothing wrong with a great open collar and blazer look. Very common. Odds are that that fitted dress shirt is probably stuck in the back of your closet and isn't as current as it probably should be. Fashion trends these days are pretty slim and tailored. So a super nice tailored suit or dress is great for posing vertical portraits for men or women. Even if you're not a skinny model, fitted clothing does have a great slimming effect. And ladies, make sure the collar or neckline is crisp and clean and simple. Big floppy collars will look big and floppy on camera. What about pants? Well, pants are optional if you're just coming in for a headshot. Wear your shorts, comfy denim, even your pajama pants. I don't care. Glasses? This one's easy. If you're normally seen with your glasses on in your professional capacities, then I'd say wear them because you want people to recognize you and you gotta look like you. But you hate your glasses? Well, we'll do some without your glasses, but go shopping for some frames first. There's a lot of great options out there. Some people get caught up on the reflections that come through from the studio lights on your glasses. This is not as big of a deal as you might think. There's some tricks to minimize them, uh, but don't get hung up on it. <clears throat> it's more important that you look like you with your glasses on. Okay, you've got your clothes picked out. What about jewelry? You guessed it, keep it simple. Unless, you're, unless big bling is your style and your brand, um, going big will only distract the viewer. And remember too, it's a headshot, so any decent sized pendant or anything around your neck is probably gonna get cropped off anyway. Watches and bracelets will of course only be seen in portraits or personal branding images with a vertical crop. So if you're into watches, go ahead and bring your fancy timepiece, <clears throat> but remember your audience. If it's a high-end, kind of a luxury audience, nothing wrong with wearing a fancy Swiss watch. But if your headshot is for the people, stick with the Apple Watch. You go into your closet and you find your favorite shirt clearly breaks most of the rules that we just talked about. What do you do? I'd say bring it. Forget the rules. Wearing your favorite items can add just the right jolt of confidence to your session. And confidence in your session is everything that's going to come through on camera. Trust me. That's it. Those are my essential wardrobe tips. What did you wear to your session? Any regrets? Would you do anything different? Let me know in the comments. More videos with tips and tricks about what to do in your session will be coming. Hair, makeup, posing, all sorts of things. But if you can't wait, grab my free complete session guide with the link below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it and give it a like and share it with somebody you know that um, is probably in the market for a new headshot. It's a good way to give them a hint, too, that it's time for a new picture. Have a great day, and remember, have fun in that session.